yourself playing out of tune and your fingers are just not landing where they should. In this video, I'm going to be talking about finger patterns plus giving you six different finger patterns to work with. This video is for beginner, intermediate, and advanced because we will be talking about these in first position, but you can easily apply these exercises and finger patterns to all the different positions. So if you're a more advanced player, watch this video on how you can improve your position playing with finger patterns. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay, and I help train violinists all over the world play relaxed, improve violin technique, and create gorgeous tone. The finger patterns are where your fingers touch on the instrument. So this is a finger pattern, this is a finger pattern, this is a finger pattern, so there's different finger patterns, and I'll walk you through those. Why they are important, because if you are mindful of exactly where your fingers touch as you are playing the instrument, you'll most likely be more in tune. It's also gonna help with your note reading your intonation as we discussed, playing in tune, finger strength, and finger independence. Without further ado, let's get into those exercises. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to receive notifications for when every video drops. If you find this video to be helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up so that other violinists all over the world can see this video and improve their violin technique with finger patterns. All these finger patterns you're gonna be learning in this video, I will be teaching them in the order that you would learn them typically as a beginner violinist. So if you are applying these to upper positions or higher positions, I would suggest doing them in the exact order that we are working at right now. So the first finger pattern I'm gonna talk about is when your two and three touch. So you can see here two and three touch. I'm gonna to play it for you on the A string first. Okay, so that's A, B, C sharp, D, and E. Check your fourth finger, he's just spot on and nice and curved. I have a beautiful video about fourth fingers, so you can check that out for more training on the fourth finger. And here you wanna make sure you two and three touch. As an exercise, you can play A, B, C sharp, D, E going up. Coming back down. You can start with fourth finger first and come down. And go back up. And then the next little exercise is to skip a finger. in tune. If you hear anything out of tune, stop, fix the out of tune finger, and then play the note before the out of tune finger to really solidify your intonation. Go ahead and practice this on every single string, know your note names, and then you're ready to move on to the next finger pattern. The next finger pattern is low two. Looks like this. Low two and three and four has a space. Okay, so our half step where our fingers touch is between one and two, and then the whole step is between three and four. This is typically the second finger pattern you learn. So you have a low two. So this is minor, it sounds sad. It is a minor, A, B, C, D, E. that your two, one and two touch, you wanna to make sure your three is really in tune after that two is going low, that he doesn't get pulled back as well. So always listen to that third finger with an open string. You can even play with your open D and make sure it's in tune. Okay, so that's finger pattern number two. You know the drill, A string, D string, G string, E string. When you've done all that, going up, down, and skipping out, you're ready to move on to finger pattern three. Finger pattern three is when we have a high three and three and four touch, okay? So we have these guys touching and a whole step between one and two, whole step between two and three, and your half steps between three and four. On the A string, that's A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. The danger with this finger pattern is that the three is too sharp and the four comes down high. So it comes down just a little high, or <laughs> higher depending on how you play it, okay? You wanna check that your fourth finger is in tune, beautiful in tune four. 
bring the three behind it. Okay, and then give it a go again. A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then come back down. So you can easily see that three and four are touching there, and there's a space between one and two. Okay, so that's that finger pattern. So when you practice your skip a finger, you may find that that third finger is a little hard to come down after the two and four. Always check your four, that it's in tune, and then bring your three behind the four. All strings, up and down, down and up, skip a finger, you're ready for finger pattern four. Finger pattern four is when we have a low one. So in finger pattern four, no fingers touch, we have a low one. On the A string, it'll be A, B flat, C, D, E, okay? So all space, no fingers touch. The danger with a low one, no matter what the finger pattern is, is that the low one is bringing the whole hand back. You wanna make sure your one is going back by itself. I have a fabulous training video for you about that called Free the One. So you can check that out. When you set up your left hand, make sure your fourth finger is set up first. That your left hand is solid and that you kick your one back you lean your one back you unlock it from the knuckle okay so we're not moving the whole hand back because that's what causes a lot of intonation problems so we have a b flat c d and e fourth finger check that with your open e okay and that's our finger pattern there you want to go up down, skip a finger, you know the drill, D string, G string, E string, and then you're ready for the next finger pattern. Finger pattern five is when we have a low one, two, and three, and four touch. We have A, B flat, C, D, E flat. This finger pattern is really good to know if you're playing any repertoire with two flats or three flats, or whenever you have A, B flat, or E flat, or if you're on other strings, you know, E flat, A flat, or A flat, D flat. This finger pattern is really good for flat keys in general. So you want to work that going up, down, skip a finger, know your note names, and you're ready for the next finger pattern. Finger pattern six. This is a real fun finger pattern, and it's a great workout for your low one. Because we're going to do low one again, but it's low one with a high two, two and three touch, and the four is not next to any guy. Okay, so it looks like finger pattern one, but the way we play it, it is not because there is a further distance between the one and two. So I'll go ahead and show you. C sharp D E. Let's get C sharp D E set first. And then we have a low one. So it's very Arabian sounding. Okay, A B flat, C sharp D E. Play it up, play it down, skip a finger, all strings. Alright, so. If you loved this video and you really want to see these on the page, if you're in first position land or you want to improve your intonation in first position, play more in tune, improve your note rating skills, finger independence, strengthening the exercises for first position is for you. What's so great about these books is that they are 100% downloadable, immediately downloadable. If you choose to purchase this book right after you watch this video, you have it in your hot little hand well, in your hot little inbox, <laughs> and you can choose to print it up or work from it online. So you don't have to print it up if you don't want to. If you do print it up, I suggest using a spiral bound so that you can have them lay nice and flat on your stand and you don't lose pages. So every finger pattern has a visual. You can see exactly how that looks on the violin. For all advanced players that are thinking, well, you know, I'm pretty good in first position. I don't need to strengthen first position, which I would suggest every single violinist returns to first position and plays in tune with exercises in first position. But if you are ready and want to have these exercises in second and third and fifth and so forth, I have mastered the positions exercise books that I've created with the same finger pattern. You can check that out at heatherkvalon.com backslash bookshop, Heather K, K with an E. You can find the books there, buy them, download them, and get playing your finger patterns immediately after purchase. I'd love to hear from you. Which finger pattern do you find the most challenging? Let us all know in the comments below. Have fun improving your violin skills with finger patterns, and I will see you over at the bookshop. Ciao!